Alrighty guys, today we got once again this Noble. Let's see if we can't redeem ourselves with it. It's in 20 gauge, fixed full choke. Last time we had it out, it didn't fare so well. No. So let's see if we can't redeem itself today. This first one I'm going to be shooting is 19 grains of long shot, LP65 wad with 3 8 inch fiber cushion wad, 25 pellets number four buck with original buffer. Low profile gas seal is what that is. Oh. Uh, guys, if you're noticing a little bit different quality in this video, it's because we're using Josh's phone. Mine is about dead. Yep. What? Still at 30, 35 yards. Let's see how this first one fares. That's my fault. I didn't rack it back hard enough. See? Yeah. <laughs> Clear hull, no pressure signs, good load. That one was conventional. So that one didn't fare so well. We made a donut though. Yeah. If we had no good patterns with a number four buck today. Yeah, we're, we're not even going to count really it. We've never done good out of the 20 gauges. Right. Well, we're not going to count this one right now, but it is in a donut shape. So Josh counted 24 of the 25 pellets that was in that hull. My load is going to be 17 grains of long shot, low profile gas seal, one quarter inch fiber cushion wad, 10 pellets of number one buck, 30 cal, and uh, ITX buffer with a fold crimp in this old Western Expert Hall. Fiber base, these have a two and a half inch capacity, but it is a two and three quarter inch shell. Oh, wow. I didn't know that sock was on there. <laughs> High biz sock on a really old gun. Aha! I got it! You gonna show that sight? <laughs> yeah, we could do that. What do you think, guys? Is that high vis? That's very high vis. <laughs> Let's find that hole. I just kick it over here. It landed by the full wheel somewhere. I ought not to do that with these old red, uh, red 20 gauge shells, but no pressure signs. All is good. Walking up here, I thought this pattern was uh, kind of bad. We don't know what chokes in that gun, but when I, once we got up close, it turned out it was pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where is the tenth pellet? Looks like we got nine out of ten on it. But right here, that's uh, that's pretty good. Alrighty, guys. Well, he's up there patching holes. I'm going to reach in this mystery bag right here, and our next load shall be um, ooh, little gun and a slug. Um, okay, let's. Exclude that one. Let's try again here. Good God. Another one. Um, I'll get one eventually. Okay. 20 grains of IMR blue. Wad from some kind of hull. Eighth inch fiber cushion wad. 21 pellets number four buck with ITX buffer. So that's what it is. That'll be my next one once he gets it taped up. Alrighty guys. This is the mystery haul I just dug out of the bag after three or four different slugs. But... It is 20 grains of Myanmar blue, wad from Hall. What does that mean, kind of, sir? I didn't mean to write that on there. It should say the base off a of, off of wad. Oh, base wad, eighth inch fiber cushion with 21 pelts, number four buck, ITX buffer, old crimp. It's the base off a of clay buster wad. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. It should have a good thump to it. What do you think, bud? Yep. Eh, not really. Man, that powder smells good. Hall looks good, though. Yep, barely any dimpling that time. Not bad for an old shotgun. Guys, on that one, we got 19 out of 21, which ain't horrible. I'll count them for you here in a second, but the majority of them winded up right here at 30, 35 yards. That's, that's relatively good, I'd say, but... Yeah, that's the best pattern with number four bucks so far today. Uh, we have filmed two or three other videos, by the way. Yeah, you'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead and count them here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Right there. The majority of them's right here, I guess, with another little kind of a 20 cluster. right here. Oh, right down here. Yep. So we got 20 out of uh, 21. Yep. Not bad, though. I'll take that pattern any day. Uh, so slot correction that wasn't the uh, base off a of wad playbuster wad that was a factory 
uh, Fioki steel shot wad for what it's worth. I don't know why I use that in a hand load, but I did. If it hasn't been clear, that bag of shells right there is just crap that I've tossed in a bag, so is he. But uh, this one is 28 grains of little gun. It's spicy. The low profile gas seal, one quarter inch fiber cushion wad, mylar wrap, 16 pellets of 30 cal number one buck and number 47 buffer with the fold crimp. Brand new Fioki haul. I can't find the button. Oh, there it is. So many different pumps. They all have the slide release in a different location. And it's stuck in the chamber. Run it again. Oh, we'll get it out. I figured that would happen with the hot load. I think it's happening every time we ever had that gun out. Anytime we fire a relatively stout load, ounce and an eighth or heavier, it may get stuck in the chamber on the on this gun. Still smoking. You might have to dump the rod out the front of the barrel. Alrighty guys. Uh if you run it back forward, it'll come out. There we go. <laughs> I lied. It might be slightly too long too. Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, guys, you see it, and this is I see it. It's pretty funny, I must admit. You know what? What? That rod's in it, bud. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of like the 835 has the Mossberg marks. Well, this thing here does not like high pressure. Or not high pressure, but hot loads. It kind of uh, messes the brass up pretty good on them. Yeah. But that's okay, because we'll just toss it over here, and we're going to load another one after we look at this pattern. It is pretty good, especially the core of it right here. We have one flyer out here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I do not see the 16th pellet, but uh, I would have to say it's probably up here somewhere. That's a pretty good pattern. Yep. What do you think, guys? Should we just fire five slugs in a row after this? Yeah, let's do it. I said five slugs in the last one, but I guess I got three anyways that are the same. So we put us a, just a patch of cardboard in the center for a point of aim down there. And let's see how close I can put these three slugs offhanded. Not going to guarantee you anything, but we're going to see. Hopefully, I can at least try to make a pattern. All righty, guys. I'm going to take my time and see what I can't do here. There's the first one. There's the second one. Oh, God, this is horrible. I've got one at 12 o'clock and one at 4 o'clock. How about one dead center, please? Right beside your first one. Uh, well, we're at it, guys. Oh, well, might as well. Got a factory and two socket slugs. Let's just go ahead and throw them all down there. What do you think? Go for it. Those are accurate. You have two near touching. Next one's going to be a factory rifled slug and then two socket slugs. The socket slugs are 35 grains of little gun, LP, what is that? Low profile gas seal. Low pro gas seal with a quarter inch fiber cushion wad and they're both one ounce socket slugs. Like I said, the first one's a factory slug though. The next two will be socket slugs. Ooh. Dude, those little gun loads, you can feel that in your chest. Oh, yeah. They're what? throwing a fireball. Look at that barrel. Oh, yeah. Man, that powder's wicked. Honestly, they seem to do really good. Let's walk down here and see. Right. See, that, that uh, little gun powder is what we're using for our 3-ounce 10-gauge loads and the 2 and 3 quarter ounce 12, ounce and 3 quarter 16. Almost every 4-10 load we've ever loaded. Yeah, and to tell you the truth, that right there, that's pretty good group. Yeah. 
The first three I fired would be this one, this one, and this one. Yep. And then the second three I fired, I'm pretty sure that was the rifled slug. That one and that one were socket slugs. Sure was. So, I mean, at 35 yards, that's I hit everything but the basketball size pattern. That's just offhand, too. If we bench rest that, I'd say he said he could do a lot better. Oh, yeah. That true glow side on the front of it, boys. When we get down here, I'll uh, I'll take a close-up of it and show you the sight. But it's got a double bead on it anyways. And then I put a true glow, just the front bead on it. It's about that long. It's the, what are them things made out of? Fiber optic. I Something think. like that. Anyways, but it's green with the red dot in the center. Yeah. I'll show you. Come on, let's go. All righty, guys. There's that true glow side I was talking about. Let me get to focus on it here. That's the front bead on that 20 gauge, that old Noble. And like I said, it's got the double bead, so it's got the back bead. So it's almost like shooting a rifle in a way. I feel like a uh, bench rest that I could have made a better target, but a better pattern, I mean. But I'll take it. I mean, that was offhanded. And honestly, I think that's uh, only the second or third time I've ever shot slugs out of that gun. First time I've ever tried to make a group with them. So, yeah, well, we'll I'll see what Tyler draws out next and uh, get on with it. This first one is a three inch 28 pellet number four buck load, 30 grains of little gun, ounce and three eighth payload. The next two are a factory Remington uh, one ounce number six shot load. And the last one is a two and a half ounce, seven eighth ounce uh, target load. Gun's a little finicky. Oh, I can't see the can no more. Oh well. Alrighty guys, I think we have one more to pattern with the 20 gauge. We're probably gonna wrap this one up. It's just a short video, kind of like a chapter two in a way on this gun, but yeah. We'll definitely have it back out again. So the load is 17 or 19 grades of long shot, a clay buster uh seven eighth ounce target wood, I guess. Uh 10 pellets of 29 caliber, original buffer, bold shrimp. Um, I guess I gotta aim low, or, uh, yeah, low right. We forgot to patch the holes. I don't know where it went. <laughs> oh, well. So, it looks like I only got 8 of 10. I'll take that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Probably a 10-inch circle. Not bad. Uh, I don't know where those last two went, though. I think I see them over here. Well guys, we want to thank you for watching that one. That was a pretty fun video to make. We actually get quite a bit of requests for 20 gauge videos and I know we don't really do a lot of them, but I think going forward, we're going to do more with the 20 gauge, especially at the range and you know, here too. But uh, it's January 3rd right now. We filmed that video close to three weeks ago, I think it was. I know it's been a minute, but uh, like I said, that was a pretty fun video to make. Speaking of uh, more 20 gauge content, you see right here behind me, this is the 20 gauge Super Mags. You guys know those three ounce 10 gauge loads and the two and three quarter ounce 12s that we, that we like so much. Well, this is the 20 gauge equivalent to it. 28 grains of little gun, various wads, various sizes of buckshot. These are running, I think, 1125 FPS, 1100, somewhere in that ballpark. But uh, yeah, ounce and five eighth in 20 gauge. We have a turkey load here, number six shot. We have some number two buck, number one buck, 29 caliber, uh, number four buck, and even some 30 cal, number one buck. Now this one doesn't have any buffer in it because 16 pellets of 30 cal number one is right at ounce and five eighths. So no room for buffer in that, but you know what? That's fine. Buffer isn't absolutely necessary inside of 30 yards. We're shooting at 35, so it, you know, shouldn't really be needed, but can't wait to film these. Super mags are awesome, especially the 10 and 12 gauge. Quite a bit of recoil, but uh, it's all fun. You guys know us. But uh, anyway, we want to thank you for watching this video, as I said a minute ago. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month, and every penny we get goes right back into this channel. Helps us keep going. We also have an Instagram. I'll leave that in the description below as well. A link to it. Um, the handle is the shotgun scientist if you just want to go look it up.
But, you know, we post some cool behind-the-scenes stuff, upcoming content, things like that. But other than that, you guys take it easy. We will see you in the next one.